So we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to turn the power off. Do you know where the power? Uh... It's out here in the garage. Oh, okay. Wow, looks like it's like they only went ate one wire. Which is pretty good. Oh, here's another wire here they ate. So I can reconnect these wires and hopefully it will be good. Um, so we spray this, get that, and probably after we wash it off, then we should spray it with that peppermint oil so they don't crawl back up in here. Okay, they tend to like these wires here. This is the water valve. And here's the remnants of the water valve wires. They can be reattached. The brown wires, you can see the brown here. And these yellow wires, luckily, they didn't bite them off all at the same area. So we know which wires go where. So this one can be put back in use. They ate the ground wire. I just need to get a couple of jumper wires to go to there and hook those up and we're back in business. Uh, so that's what rats can do sometimes. Okay, so they bug. got me here. And so we do clean this off real good. Not too bad. See they ate there too. Started here, but didn't get through. That we can fill up. Good old E6000. That will take that gap up and seal it. I'm going to seal it from the outside and the inside. Take my torch, heat it up, clean it up, and then uh, put the E6000 on. What, I, be good. what I do now is I'm just checking for leaks to make sure that nothing's dripping. Because that can be a problem. Uh, and I think my little patch here is going to be fine. It's pretty well dry. Okay. The water's not going to affect it. We can just start it up and launch it for a second.